you've been lied to. Just how fast is Sonic? Not as fast as you might think. Hello Internet, welcome to Game Theory, applying science to video games since April 18th of 2011. Recently, however, a new gaming scientist has come onto the scene. The good folks over at Vsauce 3 recently took a gander at a game series I covered in Episode 5, The Science of Sonic. But instead of talking about the similarities between Sonic and a real hedgehog or four-headed echidna peni, they looked at how running faster than the speed of sound would affect Sonic's body. It's a great video, except for one thing, it's wrong. Now don't mistake what I'm saying, I can't blame them. We've all been suckered in by the Sega propaganda machine, but the hard truth is this. Sonic isn't as fast as we've been led to believe. First, a disclaimer. This is a video game show, so we're going off of Sonic's behavior in his games. Yes, comic book Sonic has run at speeds greater than the speed of light, but comic books have also had Superman starring in a porno directed by a supervillain named the Sleaze, so forgive me if I take what they say with a slight grain of salt. Besides, Sonic started as a game character, and that's the way we're gonna keep him. Now, to determine how fast he can run, we need to find out Sonic's height. According to Wiki Answers, Sonic stands at 3 foot 3 inches tall, or about 1 meter. Now, I could just stop there and call it a day, but since we all know how trustworthy online Wikipedia articles can be, I thought we should double check that figure. So to do that, we turn to Sonic 2006. Ugh, that's right, I waited through one of the worst games ever made just to bring you guys the most accurate information possible about one of your favorite fictional characters. Now that's dedication. In this disgraceful pile of code, Sonic meets up with Elise here. Part-time princess, full-time furry, who is probably the one responsible for this fanfic pic of the blue blur. And this one. And this- Anyway, this 17-year-old stands at 64 inches tall. Comparing their heights during this shameless display of interspecies romance shows that our pedophilic porcupine stands at approximately 27 fortieths of Elise's height. In other words, 43.2 inches, or 3 foot 7 inches, or about 1.1 meters. Suck on that, wiki answers. So knowing how tall he is, we're able to get a sense of scale of the world around him. Using Sonic as our size reference, we can see that Act 1 of Green Hill Zone is approximately 236 Sonics long, or about 259.6 meters. The world record time for finishing this level is 25 seconds, meaning that Sonic would have to be traveling a little over 10 meters per second to finish. To give you some perspective, every second he'd be running the distance from the pitcher's mound to home plate on a slow pitch softball field. And that, my friends, is our random piece of trivia for the week. The more you know. Anyway, 10 meters a second, pretty fast, but nowhere close to breaking the sound barrier, which is 340.29 meters per second. If Sonic truly was floating around at the speed of sound, he would finish a course and a half every second. The speed run for the entirety of the first Sonic game would be less than a minute long. Even if we assume that he's wearing his speed shoe power-up, which triples how fast he can run, Sonic is still less than a 30th of the 340.29 meters per second needed to break the sound barrier. Compare those numbers to Sonic's arch-rival Mario. By combining research from our real versus fake boob episode, where we prove that Peach is 5 foot 10 inches tall, we're able to calculate that Unsuper Mario is 4 foot 8. But not only is he the height of an Oompa Loompa, unfortunately for him, that's also how wide he is. The Mamma Mia, that's a pudgy plumber! To measure his speed, it's 69 Marios to get to the first warp pipe, meaning the distance is 3,864 inches or 98.1 meters. Minimum time to get there, 5 seconds. That puts Mario running along the ground at nearly 20 meters per second. 
That's twice the speed of Sonic in his first game. Let's make this perfectly clear. In both of their respective first games, Mario is faster than Sonic. Blast processing, Sega? More like ass processing. Needless to say, Sonic isn't the fastest thing alive. But let's give the guy a break, shall we? Maybe he was just getting warmed up in his first games. In Sonic Unleashed, there's an actual speed meter that tells you when he's at his maximum velocity. At the start of Skyscraper Scamper, you're at max speed with maximum ring energy. If we're to believe the game developers, this is the fastest Sonic can get. Here's how far he travels in a second. Did you miss it? Here it is again. To get a better picture, let's slow things down. Notice that he travels the length of one large building. Since this world is called Empire City, it's pretty safe to assume that it's modeled after the Empire State, New York. In fact, I can even call out a very likely candidate for the building in question since I lived one block away from it. An average city block above 14th Street, New York is one-fifth of a mile by one-twentieth of a mile. If Sonic was running the longer part of that block, he actually would come close to breaking the sound barrier as he would be traveling 321 meters per second. But notice that Sonic here is running along the shorter edge of the building, meaning that at most, he's running 80 meters per second. Faster than before, but still less than a fourth of the speed of sound. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sonic has the light shoes that supposedly give Sonic the ability to run at the speed of light. Well, even with generous estimations, those moments are actually slower than this one. So the power of those shoes? Greatly overrated. But how about when Sonic has all the Chaos Emeralds and turns into not a shameless ripoff of Super Saiyan mode? Well, even if Super Sonic is charged up and shot through a speed booster, he can't top the 80 meters per second limit, let alone the sound barrier at 340. In short, no combination of power-up, booster, and track can get Sonic anywhere close to even half the speed of sound. But most embarrassing of all, Sonic isn't even the fastest character in his own games. You know who is? I would say Tails, but he actually has some sort of crazy teleportation ability that I'm not gonna touch here. No, it's Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Across all his games, try as he might, Sonic can't catch this guy in a foot race. Even when Sonic comes at him at top speed, Robotnik is able to quickly sprint away. In fact, in that one moment, Dr. Eggman is going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 quarters of a second. That's an acceleration 3.2 times faster than the fastest accelerating car in the world, the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, which clocks in at 2.4 seconds. Not bad for a man who weighs in at 282 pounds. But all over analysis aside, the moral of the story is this. Most versions of Sonic aren't any faster than any other game character. It's the way the game was designed and marketed that made us believe in his top speeds. Don't always believe everything you hear. Do the research yourself and you might be surprised by what you find. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching.